very happy to tell you that Josh Groban is in the house, in the studio. We welcome you, Josh. It's good so morning, good to Gail. see you oh, again. It's such a pleasure to see you. Thanks I feel the me. same about you. <laughs> so here's what USA Today said about you. Uh, his lush baritone is unsurprisingly a glorious match for Sondheim ballots. And when he does unleash Sweeney's monstrous side and epiphany in the Act Two climax, this is the line that got me, Josh. Grobman is downright terrifying to behold. I just don't think of terrifying and Josh Grobman in the same sentence. <laughs> but you are nailing fun. this role. That's thank you very much. It's been a lot of fun. It's a, it's you know, it's a role that uh, that has so many different nuances to it, and it and he wrote it for lush singing, and and there is a lot of romanticism to the to the music in it, but juxtaposed with all of the you know heinous yes. acts that are happening, that's what makes the show so interesting to me. I mean, Josh, you are literally slitting people's throats. I know it's acting, but you do it with <laughs> such flair and you do it with such ease. What does this say about you, Mr. Groban? Well, I mean, <laughs> what does it say about you? Listen, Sweeney Todd was Benjamin Barker before he yes. before he got off the boat and before he, um, you know, these terrible things happened to him. There was a human being there who was married, who you know made his baby girl laugh and had a family life. And at at some point, this this very human person wanted to come back, wanted to find his wife, and wanted to seek justice. And then slowly but surely, under pressure and under the circumstances, he snaps. And that's, that's, I think, the thing that really drew me to the role right now, was how do you find the person who never knew that he was going to be the bad guy yes. uh, in this? But how are we laughing at this, Josh? Because I found myself, the audience, we're laughing out loud as we're yeah. watching, you know, this murder and mayhem being yeah. committed. Well, it's, what is it? It's, you and Annalie I, together, by the way, are magic. Uh, I love working with Annalie. We've got we've got such a wonderful chemistry. It, it's just it's great to have a partner out there who balances uh, the light and the dark with you. And um, and and there is a lot of humor. There's there there's is. very dark humor that Sondheim really wanted in this. He wanted people to let it let out that steam and to laugh. Um, and you know, and so it's a it's a, we want it to be a thrilling good time for people. And so when you hear them gasping and you hear them crying, but then you hear them letting out the laughter, you know you've done the right thing. But you say this is a role that you've coveted. Listen, back when you were a teenager, yeah, and we have proof of this, you go to camp and you audition for Sweeney Todd. That's right, yes. You wanted this role. Well, I, I, the wonderful Interlochen Arts Camp in Michigan was doing Sweeney Todd. I had just at that point. And we have you there, <laughs> There I am. There you are. I played a painter, I think. They had me in an, an outfit <laughs> to be a painter. Uh, wonderful being in the, the ensemble of that production. Uh, it's some of the most incredible ensemble music ever written. Um, and I auditioned to be Sweeney. I, I was, you know, even our, our Sweeney that year, um, Rob Rokiki, who's a, a composer now, um, you know, we were all young, but I was really young. So it was, it was too young then. Uh, 42 now is the right age. Well, what I think is so great, uh, Katie Smith, who produced this segment, when she was talking to you, she heard about that. She called the camp and they said, of course we still have pictures. <laughs> so to be able to have pictures of you. To Thanks, see, guys. Yeah, to see that you, <laughs> this was something that you wanted to do. And now here you are on Broadway doing this. Well, when what you're does young, mean to you? I, uh, it's, it's so full circle. I try not to let how emotional and full circle and how, what a powerful experience this is for me affect me too much on things like opening night where we uh -huh. had the original Sweeney Len Carey who was sitting out there. We were so honored and your to parents have him there. there. My parents are there. Your significant others yeah, there. Absolutely, yeah. Natalie. We just and we just we we just I just you have to like leave that off stage. You have to leave that stage left and go out and immerse yourself in it because if you let too much of that you know permeate, um, it can be sometimes nerve wracking. So um, I've loved this show. I've loved Sondheim's work. Everybody in the cast, I know, feels very yeah, full The cast is this. so good. Yeah. I mean, I have to just say to the viewers who are watching, I am i swear to you, I'm not late to the Josh Groban party. <laughs> there was a show back in the day called Allie McBeal. That's right. And you sang uh, To I Where sang You Are. You're to, Still You. And you're Still You. Where you you are, sang two yeah. songs. So my first and I went to the producers. I was working at Oxygen at the time. And yes. I said, if we can ever get this Josh Groban guy to come yeah. in, I will come in on my day off <laughs> to talk to him. A month later, they said, Gail, we got Josh Groban. Did, were you serious about coming in on and, your day off? And I was. <laughs> I came in. And I, now, 25 years later, I'm coming in on my day off <laughs> to come see you. So it all it's it a comes back, circle it comes back around. Too. That's theater. I mean, I, that's, when I <laughs> had a show us. back in the day, look at us, Josh. Look at us. That was about uh, oh, it was 2010, I think. Yeah, you wow. still look the same. I know. You still I, look I, the same. <laughs> So I remember I saying to Oprah, my, if you listen, you look the same. I, I no, you look, you look my, good. My, You're my, a grown ass man, and you look good. <laughs> I remember saying to Oprah when I first heard you, I said he makes the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. You should listen to this guy. And she goes, he sounds, uh, he sounds good. I go, no, no, no. Listen again, he sounds so good. So for my birthday, yeah. she wanted to surprise me, and you were sick that day. Yeah. But then Oprah cooked up another surprise. 
It's, it's, it's something I'll never forget. Yep. And Josh surprises me at work. Yep. Roll tape, please. Oh, my goodness. Roll tape. Okay, we're on our way to the office now. Getting all jittery. Well, then you know what? You ought to have a really good time at the concert. Oh, my God! Hold on a second. Nobody has any idea. Who are you guys? <laughs> this better not be your people. <laughs> this is so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my God! What are you talking to? <laughs> Yay! What are you doing? Well, yeah. No... So the Success. back story, yeah. Success. Oprah called me up because I was going to see you that night. I've seen Josh in concert four times. I was, and she was saying, you're going to have a really great time. And this camera crew walks in. I'm like, who are you people? And then you walk in, Josh. I'll never forget that. I'll never forget and that. And you were singing the song to Oprah on the phone. <laughs> yes. When you say you love me, that I wound up singing to you that day. Surprises are hard. But yeah, that, but you, you pulled that we off. Nailed it. We nailed it. You pulled that off. So do you know your next move, or do you even think like that? Because I think about how you got started. David yeah. Foster says, I know this great singer. You set in for Andrea Bocelli, and the rest is history. Yeah. And there you are. You know, I, I think that diving headfirst into something as challenging and rewarding as, as this, um, it, it, you know, it empties your tank in some ways. You've got to keep finding ways to refill every night. But then it also really fills your creative tank to think about other things. And yeah. so while I might have a loose idea of what I want to do next, the kind of album I want to make or whatever else, um, I kind of let the chills guide me. This, this yeah, was something. The this chills. Was a, this was a big risk, and you know something. Something about this said to me, you know, whatever happens, this is something I'm going to be really, really passionate about. And whenever yes. I've done something for that reason, it's always worked out. Well, you nailed it. Please Thank know I'm so here much. cheering you on always. You, Thank you so much. Whenever you decide you want to get married, I'll, you know, my address. <laughs> I'll sit on the groom's side of the family. Just throw it out there, Josh Coburn. <laughs> I'm happy in all parts of your best. life and your mom and your dad. Tell them I said, yeah, hey, I Thank feel the same. So Thank much. you. Thank you, my friend. You can see Josh and Sweeney Todd on Broadway at the Lunt Fontan Theater right now. Right now, run, don't walk.